I did post my opinion to that effect that I, I, I think the Prime Minister should have shown up because it gave rise to that, this uh, constant narrative. And I think in, in, in life, everybody does acknowledge. And I, what I found very magnanimous about him was to, to, to take responsibility and to almost issue some form of an apology. Senator Wetangula said that now it's all buried because he, he, did, he did have a, a one-on-one -on -one with uh, the Prime Minister and the Prime Minister was remorseful yeah. for the fact that uh, yeah, he, was, but, but, he did but, not attend that rally. That, that, that apology is uh, what you consider too little, too late. A lot of damage is already done. In fact, you can see here a very clear script that uh, ahead of uh, that uh, rally in Kakamega, there were already people going around. And I was personally present at uh, a funeral in Butere where a member of parliament uh, stood up instead of condoling with the uh, bereaved uh, he started talking politics and uh, he told the people of kakamega and the people of butere that uh, anybody coming around here uh, posing and uh, posturing as if uh, he is uh, trying to become president next year should forget that here in uh, kakamega we have our governor who is also our president and we don't want other presidents <laughs> coming around here and this president of ours is going to contest in 2022 which uh, really means that uh, that person speaking did not even have faith mm. in the person that uh, they were rooting for and that person was Raila Odinga whom they went on to say that this is the only known person and a few days later the governor told uh, Kalonzo Musioka Moses Wetangula to drop their beads. He said that uh, they were flower girls and that the only person who was uh, really uh, going to run for president because he was the competent one was Raila. But, but, and but, but, I think but, but. they should move away from this pretext and start accepting that yeah. there is a problem here, there is discord in court yeah. and that they need to address it. And you know, Jubilee is now on a roller coaster. Mm. And they, as I wrote a few weeks ago mm -hmm. that uh, what we saw happening at the Hague was a uh, Titanic, it was an earthquake, and they need an earthquake of their own, uh, of their uh, own but, but, within but, but, their fraternity. But, but, but you, you have to appreciate uh, that uh, the, our, our challenges are, are slightly dissimilar to that of Jubilee. Uh, the you arena, Jubilee, the Jubilee, arena Jubilee, is Jubilee, the same. If, if we had, for instance, yes. uh, been able to, 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 to capture state power, I think the matrix would have been almost... Uh, uh, almost uh, self-propelling mm. because we will we, we'll have a clear we'll have had a clear commitment so that the, after the president the deputy will take over and that's what in fact that's the mm. script that's played mm. out for Jubilee mm. so their dynamics are far much easier yeah but I can tell you for a fact it is it is well within the expression of Oparan yeah? you know to 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 vote for for the party his party leader and every other person is voting mm. for their party leaders okay. so that we can all but this is healthy intra well called competition and court is a, is a party that also must demonstrate or a coalition that must demonstrate that there's healthy internal competition